But we also robbed the sheriff. I forgot that we also robbed the sheriff of 5,000 marks and, and, and stripped him naked and uh, other than his hat and put him on his horse and sent him back to town naked. Now, so he's pissed at us. He's got to be pissed, right? I mean, he should be pissed. By the virgin, I've never seen you breathless before. Is there a wolf at our ear heels? Oh, little John sent me to tell you. Catch your breath, or I may never learn what you have to tell. He's tired. The Abbot's treasure train has been sighted. The signal's been passed from our north northernmost scouts. Will remains on watch at the outlook. Good, then we have time to plan. Okay, we should should we like blow our horn? Let's blow our horn. Let's blow our horn. Let's plan. The men are on alert. They'll be here as quickly as they can manage. Aye, I hear little John coming already. Our scout has reported the Baron's treasure train has entered Sherwood upon the north. Baron Lefelver, Le Leferver, rise in the fore. The treasure is carried upon three mules and lying behind them. Upon each side of the mules are 20 heavily armed men, of which 10 are crossbowmen and 10 carry shields and spears. So we face 40 well-armed men in all, plus the Baron. What do we know of this Baron? If he's in the service of the Prince John, he must be a man of dubious honor. But no less dangerous, if he rides in the boar, he is no coward. Shall we present our strategies? Aye, let's, let me hear them all. Let us concentrate all our fire upon the out overlook, where we're best protected. We'll strike without warning and simply keep firing re relentlessly until they are scattered or surrendered. This battle will cost us men, no matter what tactic we choose. We should demand a surrender first in case this Baron has more sense than courage, but set upon them from all sides if they refuse. There's no glory in an ambush. I couldn't even take a simple, make a simple song out of it. We should show our strength from the overlook with a blare of horns and beating of drums, singing the praises of Richard Lionheart. If they fail to surrender on the spot, then we open fire and let fall a deadly rain of arrows. Against such trained soldiers, we have but one advantage, surprise. I must, it must be a sudden ambush, and we must fall upon them equally from both the overlook and the far side of the road. Let's round up some wild boars and drive them onto the road. The horse and mules will panic, the boars will gore some of the soldiers, and then we can move in and take over. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. The wild boar strategy doesn't sound bad. I like the surprise ambush strategy. I think that's a good idea. Because we have 34. If we can, if we can take out like, you know, half of them, just in one with an ambush, or more than half of them, I don't think wild boars would panic them. I just think they'd be annoyed. I I think demanding to surrender is a bad idea. I think an ambush from the overlook only is a bad idea. I think an ambush from both sides is a fantastic idea. What do you all think? You have any thoughts? Any thoughts? Can I save here? I cannot. Oh well, we can restart the day. You're thinking boars, Austin. Austin's thinking boars. Coffee's thinking boars. All right, we got some. We got some boars. Something tells me if they're well trained, the boars won't do a whole lot. But we can try it. We'll just we'll just try we'll, we'll try something. Of course, it does sound funny. I agree. 
Let's try the let's try the boar strategy. I'm thinking the tuck strategy sounds the best to me, but we'll try the boar strategy. All right, here we go. Boar strategy. Well, that's it. They've gotten past us. What? It just totally failed. <laughs> it just totally failed. What? Uh oh, <laughs> we tro <laughs> We weren't. We weren't able to get the wild boars, <laughs> and we even lost somebody as a result. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, that that was not that 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 was wrong. Uh, I I'd call that I'd call that the wrong strat. We 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 raced around trying to get wild boars and uh and and just it took too long. All right, we can we can just bypass all of this. job of hitting them with arrows I must say Robin your shot is not true come on Robin seize the treasure we did it we didn't lose anybody we didn't lose anybody yeah! Uh, uh, uh. Caught from both sides by surprise, the Baron and his men were quickly vanquished. Only two of the soldiers chose to surrender. We stripped them of armor and weapons and sent them free, and set them free. Truly, this has been a proud day in the history of the outlaws of Sherwood Forest. 50,000 marks. We spent the rest of the day helping Tuck count the money. 50,000 marks in silver and gold we had taken. We will surely buy the king's freedom. That's nice. Yeah, everyone else chose death. Not too surprising, really. A toast to all my brave lads, to the loyal outlaws of Sherwood. And to Robin Hood. And to the king. And to the suffering of Prince John and all whipped dogs who lick his boots. Oh, I'm drinking. That's a food there. A finer day's work we've never done. When the Queen's Knight arrives, we'll have a magnificent gift for his sovereign lady. Indeed, we will. Watch the road well. We dare not miss him. All right, nice. Save day twelve. Like we haven't been drinking in those things, I don't think. But this time we did. We we're celebrating. Uh oh, who's this? It's good you're up. Will sent me with a warning. The sheriff has loosed his mongrels to plague us again. Will urges you not to go abroad until they've gone their way. Well, I must, for the Queen's Knight will ride among Watling Street 
and I must not miss him. Aye, that's what I told Will. That's what I told Will you'd say. But go carefully, Master. You'll have little chance if they catch you in the forest alone. I'm heading south. Will said to leave the outlook to you. Thank you, John. May the Virgin Lady protect you. Ah, and, and you. All right. There goes little John, who's not so little. All right. Uh, we saved the day, right? So, did we save the day? I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. Day 12. Okay. Say We saved. Yeah, the score is pretty high. That's why I say we might finish today. We may finish today. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. I, I just, I just, I just feel it. I just, I just feel it in my bones. In my bones, that something bad is going to happen. Oh no. Oh no. I'm going to have to pull out the manual. I don't have it out. that what's that i need to i need to get the manual out i need to i need to use that code uh, i wasn't i wasn't prepared with the manual i thought we were done with it but apparently we're not Lots of copy protection in it. Like just manual based copy protection. Conquest of the Longbow. Alright, here's the manual. Let's check out the thing. Alright, what are we looking at here? It's these, right? Oak, which is D U I R. D U I R. Right? That's what we're looking at, aren't we? Those are acorns. D U I R. Okay. Oh, and we also need the uh, we also need the uh, the uh, hand code. D U I R. Okay. I think I got it. D you I are boom take that you jerks Danger is past, Fleshling. Return to your native form and go in peace. You know, they just freaking passed. You, th you think you could let me stay a tree a little bit longer? Tell the green man I thank him most heartily for my blessing. It will be done, says the oak tree. So we can speak tree. Did we, did we, did, did we win? I, I'd call that win. Your old house out in the country was surrounded by blackberry bushes? Mm. It's good I have such trusted men. I'll join them at once. So, you're the leader of this rabble. What's the meaning of this? Sire, I beg you to forgive my men. They angered you. They only did as I bade them. Do you, do you 
not come to Sherwood seeking me? You'll learn nothing from me as long as I'm surrounded by outlaws. My men are completely trustworthy. I have nothing to fear from them. I order you to send them away. Very well, men. You best leave. I don't like it, Robin. Not one bit. Neither do I. Then go, because I ask you. Then go, because I ask it of you. Bah! Queen's Knight is no Queen's Knight. He could use a lesson in manners. I'll explain yourself or step aside. I've no time to waste on a common outlaw. I'll not move a step until I learn what I need to know. Then you'd best be quick about it, or my sword will teach you to move. Uh-oh. Better save. Queen's Knight, question mark. What were we supposed to do? How, how are we supposed to identify self, our, ourselves to the Queen this night? Oh yeah, the word steed. We were supposed to say the word steed. Steed was the word. Right? In this code, steed. S-T-E-E-D. I gotta get all this set up so that I can see the code and the game at the same time. S T D. What are you doing with your hand? Perhaps you didn't watch closely enough the first time. Shall I do it again? You have no business with me. Get on with it. Okay, I'll do it again. S T E E D. What's the meaning of it? Answer me. Then you cannot be the true Queen's Knight. What have you done with him? BAM! Every instinct I have told me this knight was no king, queen's man, but now I must prove that I was right. He carried this letter sealed with a imprint of the prior's ring. The letter reads, I have advised the prince that we have succeeded in our mission. The cub is taken. The lion is caged. It's signed by the prior of the monastery and addressed to the sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, we better use our horn now. Look at that. We're, we're so good. It was, a, it was subterfuge. They're going to say, what the hell happened? I stayed within range of your horn, master. What's happened here? Why did you kill the queen's knight? He wasn't the queen's knight, M queen's man. He carried a written message to the sheriff from the prior, proof of his conspiracy with Prince John. Ode's blood! What of the true queen's knight? We must find him. His armor wouldn't fit me. I'll see the horse, not to worry. I wonder where he is. Leave this mess with me. I'll get him out of the road and see and see to the horse. Okay, fine. I want my arrow back. Just give me my arrow back. The Queen's Knight is dead. Well, he's not the Queen's Knight. I don't. But I'm Robin Hood, MRA. Like I'm Robin freaking Hood. I don't want his sword. His sword sucks. Clearly, because. He, uh, he wasn't able to kill me with it. Where do I go? By death, the forest was clear of the sheriff's men, and they're not, and, for they're not brave enough to roam Sherwood at night. Nonetheless, I counted men anxiously as they returned to camp one by one. When all were safely returned or accounted for, I joined my friends by the fire. Oh, so that was the end of the day. That was the end of the day. Our day was just like, kill somebody, kill somebody, and then we go home. That seems to be a lot of our days. I grow weary of these sheriff's men trampling through our territory like vermin. Aye, it's an outrage. The sheriff must think this is his forest. 
We cannot let him hinder us. We must find the true Queen's Knight, even should he set a soldier behind every tree. We'd better sleep on it then. Tomorrow may well be a desperate day. Okay, now it's day... Day, uh... 13. This game is moving very quickly right now. I expected the game to move less quickly as we, uh... As we, as we got on. But the game is moving very, very quickly. Like... Like it was walk through the forest... Hide, go to the Outlook. What would a sequel to this series even cover? Uh, she actually said she was going to cover the Roman, a Roman emperor. She was going to cover a Roman emperor. I can't remember which one. But Christy Marks actually gave an interview on what the third game would have been had, had it been okayed. So she had ideas flowing through her head. And she was probably going to... Pro uh, it was probably going to be like... It probably would have like... You'd have to have the manual for every single action in the entire game. Based on the piracy... The anti-piracy techniques used here. You'd probably have to have the manual for every single action. Every time you do something, it says... Give me the word on page 64, line 4 of the manual, before you can go to the next screen. <laughs> A farthing for your thoughts, Will. Uh, oh, I was wondering what will happen to us if the king doesn't return. Those are unhappy thoughts, not worth a farthing. Bad enough we can't send our share of ransom without the queen's knight. And if you can't find and rescue him, we'll be blamed for his death. You know that? Prince John will seize the crown, and he'll spare nothing to rout us out of Sherwood. I know it well. I see little way that I can help. It's up to you, Robin. All right. It's up to me. Well, when wasn't up to me? When wasn't it up to me? I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, he's probably be. If I were to guess, he's being held in the uh, monastery, right? We have this ring here. Let's put this ring on. Oh, let's take this ring off. Let's put this ring on. Let's look at this letter. Oh! We can pretend we're that knight. We can pretend we're that knight. That guy. How do, how do we do that? Do we have his clothes? Oh, I mean, we kind of shot him, so... We may not have his clothes, but... What if we, print it, we pretend to be him? No, we don't have his clothes. Damn. But... That would have been way... That would have been way too convenient, huh? Let's go here. No. Nothing. Well, I kind of wanted to knock or something. Or say, hey. Can I... Let's go over here. I mean, the next thing is to go to the willow. Or town, I suppose. Seems like going to town is just a bad idea, though. I mean, I don't think I can get in here. If I could pretend to be the knight, because I have the letter. 
then I feel like I could do this, but I don't have any way... I don't know what this ring does. I mean, let's go down here and see what happens. Anything bad? Maybe, maybe we can walk on water. What do you think? What? What is this? We are called by the ring that commands water. How may we serve you? Do you wish to cross the water? I seek a missing knight and suspect these monks of treachery. Can you help me? The prisoner is held in a tower of the monastery. Wait, we will bring you a boat. Okay, that was a success. Follow us and we will guide you through the fog to the place you seek. Okay. Oakley Doakley. We will go before you to lead the way. Follow us, or you will be lost in the fog. Alright. And we're and we're and we're and we're sailing. Do I have to move the boat or yeah I do. I'm trying to follow, but you're kind of juking me a little bit, you silly will-o'-wisps. Well, we're, we're kind of hypnotizing them with our... Oh, there we go. The prisoner you seek is held within this tower. Our help ends here. We have no power over stone or plant. Well, you suck then, don't ya? Fear not, we will keep your boat from strain. Alright, uh, let's save as Wisps. Hey, Morton. Oh no, my mouse is acting up. Let's try, let's try and climb. Let's see how this goes. Well, that didn't work. Oh, maybe we can make that. What if we make that, uh, that thing? More, 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 uh, more, uh, more man, more copyright protection. What if we make that symbol? That is, uh, that is, uh, Ivy Gort. What if we do Gort? Gort. Gort. Whoops. I just minimized everything because I am dumb. Um, yeah, let's let's not do that. Okay, Gort. G O R T. Gort. Yeah, buddy. The ivy has magically doubled in thickness and strength. Yeah, buddy. That's right. 
Is there like a princess to save in this castle or an evil king to kill? I mean, there is e there are evil monks. I mean, I think they're monks. They're not really monks. They're they're like. I mean, do you have to have a particular qualification to be a monk? Do you need, do you need like a monk degree or something? Did you hear something, brother? I thought I did, but nay. It's just the wind in the trees. Uh... Who are you? How did you climb the tower? I see no rope. I'm Robin Hood, and I climbed the ivy that grows in the tower to reach you. I have... Liar. I tried to find myself, and they were brittle and wouldn't support a squirrel, let alone a man. Yet I swear I climbed them, with the aid of druid magic. I have a boat waiting below to take us out of the fens. I'll go nowhere with you until you've proven you're a friend. Alright, fine, we'll make... We'll, we'll spell steed for you. We'll spell steed. If that's what you want. S... T E E D Not steel. No. Ow. I I don't have a backspace. I don't have backspace on my on my hand. I don't have back I don't have the backspace key. S T E E D Good. Now I know you're the right man. Then let's waste no time. Go before me so that I might see you safely to the boat before I follow. You're sure those vines will hold? I am. I am here, am I not? I suppose if I must trust you, I may as well start now. Brothers, the prisoner is escaping. Stop him. Yes, I would like to save my game now. I think this is an action sequence. I think we just I think we just discovered an action sequence. Let's see how many times we can die in this. Action sequence? Question mark. Oh! Oh! There's one. There's one. One death. Robin Hood has learned to his, his dismay that death is about a stone's throw away. Ha! Hilarious. Oh, jeez, I thought he was going to throw it at me, and he didn't. <laughs> when Sierra tells you to save, it must be serious. That's right. When Sierra tells you to save, it must be serious. No, I messed up. Uh There's no use going to pieces. Pull yourself together and start again. Uh do we Well, they always say stuff, and I think they usually use a pun, yeah. Okay, my strat is to stay on Well, that didn't work. We're dying a lot here. Oh, jeez! What the heck? Man, I suck. What? That was like both in the middle and not in the middle. Ow! I'm bad at this. Apparently I'm bad at this. I see why they asked me if I wanted to save. <laughs> it's it's hard when he's on that side and he's throwing that way because you don't know exactly where it, you don't seem to know exactly where it's going to go. What?
Yes, we made it. We did it. To the boats, brothers. If they reach the shore, all is lost. The monks were no match for two strong and desperate men. Once within the dark shelter of the forest, it was easy to leave him behind. The Queen's Knight was fed, clothed, and his wounds treated in our camp. But as soon as he was rested, he sent forth with all the ransom we had to give him. So now I have no money. Yeah, he looks more like a Queen's Knight. Look at that. He looks more like a Queen's Knight. Look at that. And he's got some donkeys. Hey, there's Marion. There's no need to accompany me further. I have loyal men waiting in Nottingham to see me the rest of the way. And Godspeed to you safe, safely to the Queen's side. I give you my heartfelt thanks, you and all your men, for your aid and loyalty. Yeah! We did it! We saved Christmas! Or something. I wish you'd gone with him. You'd be safer with the Queen. My place is with you until the King returns. Oh, here we go! We got... Surely you think this can't be the end of the story. Nay, there is much yet to tell. What follows is a time of waiting. Waiting for the treasure to reach the Queen. Waiting for the ransom to reach King Leopold in Austria. Waiting for King Richard to be freed and return to England. I'm not hearing a song this goes with. Like... And then we're naked in a cave. You wait through the long and dreary months of winter for some word of your king's fate. None comes. In winter, friend and foe alike keep to shelter and all is quiet. Oh no! As the spring of 1194 renews the green of the forest, you go forth with your men and hunt and refill the larders. But alas, all your luck flees, all your cunning fails you, and you are taken by the sheriff's men. Oh no! That's not good. I think that's bad. The sheriff declares you guilty upon the spot and has you and all your men led to the gallows as quickly as possible. That he dares such a thing without a trial can only mean he is sure of Prince John's power to protect him. Despair fills your soul to have fought so long and so well only to dance at the end of a rope. Yet even as the rope tightens around your neck, you hear the drumming of hoofs, blare of horns, clash of steel. King Richard has come to Nottingham. Word came to me, Master Sheriff, that you'd captured the greatest outlaw, Robin Hood. But I heard nothing of a trial. Is is this the new? Is this the way you've kept the law in my absence? Uh, but but my lord, my king, he is a terrible outlaw, guilty of every sort of crime. I saw no need. My liege, hear me. I am your your true and loyal servant. I did not choose to be an outlaw, but this has was driven to by my corrupt and evil men. By your corrupt, the corrupt me. Silence, you thieving dog. Enough! I will hear him speak. My king, do you know nothing of the money we sent for your ransom? Not one penny did I or my men keep that we could send to win your freedom. I've not had word from my mother, the queen, to account for every mark. For if what you say is true... My lord, you cannot take seriously the rantings of a desperate man. He will say anything to save his neck. Then it will be declared as it should be in the court of justice. Robin Hood, you and those call, those you call your men stand accused of br brigandage. 
of stealing from the church, defying the sheriff's justice, defying the king's law, and killing the king's deer. Do you deny these charges? My lord, is it a crime to defy those who abuse your trust and use your laws to their own ends? Is it a crime to seek justice where there is only injustice? I do, I, did not, I do not defy your laws, only the evil men who use their power for personal gain. I do not steal from the church, but only from greedy men who use the church to gain riches for themselves. Those are strong words. Your life depends upon what I hear before I pass judgment. Because of the, his holy vows, I allowed your man, the Friar Tuck, to go free, that he might gather witnesses to speak in your favor. I trusted to his sworn word that he would return and share your judgment, as he indeed has. But there are others here who will speak against you, and their testimony shall also be weighed. Lest the witnesses speak, let the witnesses speak. By your leave, I shall speak first. I've served Robin Hood faithfully for many, many seasons. He is a man of honor, loyal to his king, just and fair. I pray thee, your majesty, to give little mind to his curtle friars. I am the abbot of St. Mary's, and I have been plagued by this rascal of an outlaw. He flouts the sanctity of the church and shows no respect of any true holy man, as this poor monk of mine can attest. Tis true, my liege. He waylaid me upon Wadling Street, stripped me of my robe, mocked my dignity, and that... That false friar beat me with a sword and forced me to toil at chopping wood for his gang of ruffians. A poor job he did of it too, fattened as he is with gluttony and excess of wine and ale and lazy from a life of unmonkly comfort. My lord king, it was to this abbot that Prince John sent his stolen treasure so that you might languish forever in a foreign prison. It was Robin Hood who swore to do everything in his power to raise ransom for your freedom. And this he did with every mark entrusted to the knight who brought it to the queen. I have since received an accounting of exactly the amount the outlaw sent and will weigh it in my judgment accordingly. 65,000 marks! Of 100,000. Like, over half. Sire, this man is mistaken it in accusing the prince of treachery. Your brother intended only to safeguard the treasure until it could be used to free you. It is only from fear of this diligent sheriff that the outlaw sent money, undoubtedly, undoubtedly in the desperate hope of winning a pardon for his great many sins. <clears throat> I have not forgotten your sins so quickly, you black-hearted prior. T'was Robin who freed me from your torture, Robin who saved me and set me free. I knew at once he was a good man, good enough that I entrusted him the ring that commands water, and I kept it safe, as Falk asked me. Furthermore, I had also the ring that commands fire, which I had taken by the abbot. A lie! Where are my rings now? Ask yonder seraph, t'was he that took everything from me when I was captured. More lies, my lord, we found nothing of value upon him. And say you, Falk? I would sooner take the word of Robin Hood over these robes. And there is a matter of the Queen's Knight, who was also held prisoner in your tower. I, uh, these things can all be explained. You can be sure they will, and to my complete satisfaction. But we are here at this time to pass judgment on, uh, upon Robin Hood. Your judgment will come soon enough. Let the common folk now speak. I am only a poor widow. I live by the wool I spin, and with the help of my three good sons. They were wrongly accused of treason, and would all be hanged now if not for Robin Hood and his men. I owe him the lives of my sons. Your sons consorted with outlaws and deserved hanging. My sons are all I have in the world. I bless Robin Hood for his goodness. God help the woman who seeks mercy at the hands of this sheriff or his men. Robin Hood saved me from one of his scoundrels who wrongly accused me of withholding taxes and would have dragged me to the most hideous fate a woman can suffer. Robin Hood saved me from the sheriff's men. They accused me of poaching. But what am I to do when I see my wife and children starving because the sheriff taxes us to the last farthing? He treated me fairly. He gave me good money in exchange for my first set of rags. 
I must say that for an outlaw, he was most just and fair to me. He gave me enough money to replace the clothes he took with clothes of equal quality and spare. Speak up, woman. Let your voice be heard. I still wear the good suit of Lincoln gold, Lincoln green that was given, and probably... And proudly I wear it. For thanks to the good outlaws of Sherwood Forest that I returned to me home with a goodly sum in me pocket and won me a fair last to wife. Laid Marion, you asked to speak last? Thank you, my lord. I have come to know Robin Hood well, and I also owe him my life. Pay no heed to this slut, my liege. She's a witch who keeps company with brigands and... Silence! The Lady Marion has served my queen mother for years and is of noble blood. I will not tolerate such accusations against her. Speak on, lady. Robin is completely loyal to you. He is, he is honest, fair, and true, undeserving of the fate that has driven him to live outside the law. He speaks only peace seeks only peace and justice. He devoted himself to raising ransom on your behalf, even as these other wicked men conspired against you. Don't listen to their lies. Robin and his men are your, mo are your truest subjects. I beg you to grant him your pardon and your favor. If there is anyone who has not yet spoken, let him stand forth. Very well. The witnessing is complete. I think we I think we got this. I'm just gonna say I think we got this. What do you what do you all think? Robin Hood, I find you innocent of all charges brought against you. We did it! Furthermore, I declare you a free man with no mark of outlaw against you. Your Majesty, I thank you, but my men, if I free the master, I must free his loyal friends. They are granted all full pardons. Bless you, my liege. I am not finished. You deserve more than a mere pardon. The ransom you raised went, you raised went far to securing my own freedom. Yeah, that's right. 65%. 65%. Neil Robin Hood. Oh no, he's gonna chop our head off. Oh no! Okay, we're good. And rise, Earl of Huntingdon. Furthermore, my pr my present sheriff of Nottingham is hereby under arrest for treason. What say? What say you to giving the job to Little John? I can think of no better man. The abbot shall take himself from my sight forever, or have a taste of the fiery stake with which he dared to harm Lady Marian. The worthy Friar Tuck shall be the new abbot of St. Mary's. And yonder prior must evil, most evil cur. You are exiled from my kingdom and your order disbanded for all time. I shall instruct my new sheriff to slay you on the spot if you are not gone from my shores within a week. Are you content, Huntingdale? My lord, you've done me such honors as I never dreamt, yet there is one desire, the deepest of all, yet to be fulfilled. Then speak it, man, and it will be done. <laughs> I ask for the Lady Marian's hand in marriage. Does my lady consent to this? With all my heart. Abbot Tuck, let your first job in office be the marriage of the Earl and his lady. Oh, we end with a marriage. I bless this marriage and declare th the husband and wife. Earl and Lady Huntingdale, you may seal this pact with a kiss. All right, there's credits. We are done. Wow. I didn't know we would finish this so early today. 